Good morning, everyone. Thank you once again for joining us today. Uh, thank you once again for joining us here today. Before I introduce our park board chair, George Anderson, I'd like to acknowledge um, our elected officials and board members in the audience, Council Member John Cooper, Council Member Colby Sledge, and Council Member Angie Henderson, and Council Member uh, Freddie O'Connell. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. And Council Member Angie Henderson. And Council Member Jim Schulman. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. I'd also like to recognize our park board members that are here. Um, Terry Hughes and, hey, and Jen Garcia. And then also George Anderson, who will come to the podium in just a moment. This is an important day for the Parks Department, this community, and this city. The Herschel Grish Stadium has been a beloved Nashville landmark since the Nashville Sounds took residence in 1978. It's a bit of summer and sports nostalgia that will be remembered by local sports enthusiasts, players, and the Nashville community. This spring, our department, along with the Metro Historical Commission, will launch the development of a cultural landscape report at Fort Negley Greer. This report will supplement the recent archaeological study and provide even more information to guide the decision making on the Greer grounds. We appreciate the history of the stadium and what it's meant to the city. But now it's time to move forward and create a new vision for this property. And with that, I'd like to welcome to the podium our Park Board Chair, George Anderson. Thank you, Monique, and good, oops, um, and good morning, everyone. I guess I'll just set this right here. Um, I would like to first point out the historical aspect of the site and its future impact both on international and local level for Nashville, which is significant. Friends of Fort Negley, the Nashville chapter of the NAACP and Vanderbilt have worked together and submitted an application to UNESCO to officially become a part of UNESCO's Slave Root Project Register. We will know the outcome of this decision this spring. Locally, our work with this space will embrace the Parks Department's mission to equitably provide everyone in Nashville with an inviting network of parks and greenways that offer health, wellness, and quality of life through recreation, conservation, and community. We look forward to working with you, Mayor Bradley, and building on plan to play the countywide parkland strategy for Nashville's parks that was completed last year. So with that, I would, it's my pleasure to introduce Mayor David Bradley. try and stick with the speech today. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, George Anderson for the kind introduction and for all the work he does for Nashville as the uh, chair of the Parks Board. As you know, that's a volunteer spot, and I'm sure George and his partners don't believe it to be so in many moments. Uh, thank you to Director of the Metro Parks, Monique Odom, to Brian. Well, let's hold our applause to the end. We'll give everybody a pause at the end. To Brian Taylor who and the other members of the National Parks Foundation. To Tim Walker, I think is right here, um, the executive director of the Metro Historical Commission and all the commission members. To all the members of the Parks Board who serve with George. I guess in about uh, six and a half hours, I will have reached one week as the mayor of Nashville. And uh, I didn't want to get uh, let one week get a, get away without making a, a significant announcement on behalf of the citizens of Davidson County. So we're here today um, to honor Nashville's rich history. I grew up not far from here um, and dug up mini balls with a metal detector in my front yard, not far from here. So the the Civil War has always been a part of 
my sense of Nashville, my sense of the history of Nashville. Uh, in, in 2014, uh, the sounds moved from here to First Tennessee Park in uh, close to the old Sulphur, Sulphur Dell site. And uh, since that day, Greer Stadium has sat empty. And uh, as you'll see when we walk through in a few minutes, it's deteriorated quite a bit. It's in rough shape. Uh, but the end of, of one era here, the end of baseball here, now that we've moved it downtown, closer to downtown, presents us an opportunity for a new era in Nashville. And as we grow as a community and add more density and more residents, this is a perfect opportunity for more green space. It's an opportunity to give uh, the residents of this neighborhood um, and other neighborhoods a place to relax, uh, to come together, and to build community. And I want to thank especially Councilman Colby Sledge for being here today. Uh, it's also a unique opportunity for us to pay attention to the history of this city and what happened here more than uh, 150 years ago. So today, I am here to announce that uh, my administration in the coming days will seek approximately a million dollars from the Metro Council uh, for the demolition of Greer Stadium, which is now 40 years old, and the subsequent conversion of this land into a park. Consistent um, with Metro policy, we'll be issuing a request for proposals and jumping through all the necessary hoops to do it. I spoke with Kix Brooks yesterday, who has been leading an effort to raise money uh, for the demolition of the stadium, and that's not going to be necessary. The city's going to pay for that. But he made a commitment to me to continue working to raise funds for future endeavors here at this park site, and uh, I'm confident that he will and that we'll see great things happening here on this site going forward. Um, I remember coming here um, both as a child and with my child recently before the sounds moved downtown. Um, but now uh, this is a place to inspire some new memories. Um, and uh, I'm going to go off script here now and talk a little bit about that. Um, our country, our city, has never really done what is necessary um, to acknowledge the sacrifice of the slaves in our country, to, um, to atone for what is, to atone for what is and will be a, a great scar on our, our nation's history, or to take steps towards re reconciliation. Um, this is a, there's no one moment that can do that. There's no one place that can do those things. But I am committed to work with the Parks Board and the, and the, uh, and the staff at, the, at Metro Parks to make sure that this is a moment, this is a place where we begin to acknowledge and to atone and to seek reconciliation for what has always been and will always be a scar upon the history of this great nation. So as, the, as Monique and her staff begin the process of, of planning what will be a great park here, I am asking them, because I can't tell them, I can, I can try, but I'm mostly asking, I'm asking them to build a place that honors the history of slavery, um, seeks to atone for it, and offers a place for us to reconcile um, in our city. So I'm about to finish because there's really not much more to say than that. Um, but one thing that does warrant recognition here today um, is that I'm a fast worker, and I made this decision easily, but Mayor Barry, before she left, had started this process. So I, I don't want anybody to think that this is all David Briley. This is what our mayor's office did. This is what our city did. This is what we did together. Um, and. I'm going to go back and acknowledge the, the council members who are here because their leadership, their persistence on this has been important. Councilman John Cooper at large, I know, is here. Over here. Um, Councilman Jim Schulman, also a council member at large. 
I'm trying to go in order of districts, so I'm not sliding anybody. Um, Councilman uh, Colby Sledge, uh, who I acknowledged before. Councilman Freddie O'Connell. And Council Lady Angie Henderson, who was uh, chair of the Parks Board. I will also say that I've spoken with uh, Councilman, uh, Council Lady Sharon Hurt, who was incredibly happy about this event, as well as um, the current chair of the Parks, Bo uh, Parks Committee, Councilman Kevin Roten, who was also supportive of this as well. So they all deserve great credit. Um, George talked about the plan to play. And, uh, you know, we're adding a lot of people here, right, in our community, and that's not going to change. We are going to keep growing. It is, it is destined to happen. Uh, it is incumbent upon me as mayor and each one of you standing here today to make sure that as we grow, we build out a place that is consistent with the high quality of life we have here in our community to make sure that it is an opportunity for everyone to participate in the civic life here and I encourage you all to stick to it. I'm going to stick to the plan to play and I'm going to work with Monique and the board to make sure that that is the case. Um, so Monique mentioned that they're going to do a, a cultural landscape report which is going to inform what we decide to do here ultimately. I'm committed to following that um, because that's how we work here. Um, let me say that public process and participation is keenly important to me and that although we have been through some ups and downs as we looked at what to do here, this is ending on and up. Uh, this is a moment where community participation, where voices being heard led us to the right result. So I thank you all for coming here today. I hope you'll stay committed to Nashville. Thank you.